My name is Reinhard Klusters. I have an astrophysics background and I come from Vienna, Austria. During the Poland-Mars analog simulation, I will be flight director and responsible for the success of the mission. I'm very motivated to be part of this mission because I see Mars exploration as the next logical step in human exploration. And even though it's a small mission compared to other projects, it will be just this one piece of the puzzle that adds to the greater whole. So we can be part of Mars exploration too and create an impact and uh, experiences for the members that participate in it. My name is Candace Goodwin. I'm a scientist and engineer and I'm also involved in TV and film production. I'm the media coordinator for PMAS 17 and I'm interested in keeping the world informed about the importance of space exploration. Being part of PMAS for me means being part of a youth-based international project which is working for the future of humanity for our next destination, which would be Mars. Hello, my name is Axel Garcia, and I'm a graduate student in space science and technology. I am also the vice commander for the Poland Mars Analog Facility, and my motivation for doing this is to actually develop technologies, conduct research, and train for further destination in deep space like Mars. My main motivation for joining PIMAS 2017 is simple. I want to see people walking on Mars one day, and I want to be as close as possible to that. PIMAS 2017 will be the closest we can experience that nowadays on Earth. My name is Inigo Muñoz de Lorta, and I will be the crew commander during PIMAS 2017. I'm an aerospace engineer with a background in space operations and aircraft maintenance. And I'm currently enrolled in a master program in astronomy and astrophysics. My name is Efi Salteri. My background is civil engineering. I am the coordinator of the planning and scheduling team of the Poland Mars Analog Mission. And I joined the mission because I wanted to participate in the effort to settle Mars. I'm participating in the Poland Mars Analog Simulation to help find solutions to the challenges of human space exploration. And because I've always wanted to be an analog astronaut. I'm Jennifer Pugna, a French student at Purdue University. I've always been interested in Mars exploration and I'm currently specializing in astrodynamics and space application. I will be a crew member of the Poland Mars Analog Mission in 2017. Team members will come from all over the world. This includes not only nations that science and technology studies are highly developed, but also countries that are in the process of growing their scientific community. This mission will be one of the most comprehensive Mars analog missions ever conducted in Europe. As a matter of fact, it will be one of the most international, multicultural, and interdisciplinary analog missions ever conducted, with members from over 28 different countries and representing scientific disciplines ranging from engineering to astrophysics, psychology, geology, and biology. This mission brings together students and young professionals from a great diversity of backgrounds, both cultural as well as professionally. And they bring their experience, their skills to this mission to make this very complex project a success. And when they return home, they will spread their experiences and their knowledge of this mission to other people and help us foster further space exploration. To prepare for a future exploration mission, it is important to study certain aspects of space exploration that will be important for real Mars missions. Such as the group dynamics, psychological effects of isolation, working efficiency, strategy, infrastructure, and communication. There have been several analog missions conducted so far. The PMS 2017 will be remarkable in many ways. mission to the simulation of a real human robotic or human robotic mass mission on Earth. It is performed in an environment that is analog to the conditions of a real exploration mission to Mars. The Poland Mars Analog Simulation 
2017 aims to be a realistic human mass simulation. It means having a fully isolated astronaut crew where all communications from mission support center with the astronauts will be performed only by a time delayed channel in order to simulate the long distance between Earth and Mars. PMAS 2017 is focused on five major scientific goals. We will test the impact of the environment on the performance of the analog astronauts during geological field work and other mission operations. We will also test different possibilities of human-robotic interactions to support the crew during EVAs outside the habitat on the planetary surface. A dedicated group of psychologists will also monitor the crew to evaluate the impact of isolation and confinement on the crew dynamics. And the alteration of the behavior of a small group in a confined environment with little or no external interactions, the feasibility of plants growth on simulated Martian soil, an astronomical observation using a local telescope based in Poland. Moreover, we want to involve and engage the public in planetary and space science. We'll be releasing exclusive mission updates, running campaigns, posting challenges around the world, as well as filming a professional documentary. Wherever you are in the world today, you have an equal opportunity to participate, supporting us financially, spreading the word about the mission, and actively participating in mission-related competitions and citizen science projects help us do science and make breakthrough discoveries. We will reach out to students, professional and space enthusiasts by providing them the unique opportunity to be actively involved in challenges addressing scientific, technical, and operational issues of a real Mars mission. This will also demonstrate the importance of international and interdisciplinary collaborations of individuals in private or governmental entities and their impact on the future of space exploration. This mission will be fully monitored and supported by a team of around 30 international students and young professionals gathered together in a mission control center in Torun. Poland. The outcomes, discoveries and findings of this project will ultimately contribute directly to space science and technology by advancing our current exploration systems and capabilities, helping us reach Mars successfully. In other words, this mission will help us get to Mars efficiently and safely. Additionally, given the factors we're studying, it will help future astronauts live and work effectively and efficiently on the Martian surface. This mission will thus be a stepping stone to the first human exploration missions to Mars. The Poland Mars Analog Simulation 2017 will be a planetary surface simulation of a Mars human exploration mission conducted in a terrestrial site in southern Poland under simulated Martian conditions. In this two-week mission, a team of six analog astronauts will conduct scientific research and record their experiences. The astronauts will perform their mission in a confined habitat. Time delayed communication with the mission support center to simulate real planetary exploration conditions. The Mars analog participants and staff will follow a strict protocol while performing the mission. The protocol will be based on real planetary missions performed by space agencies to preserve the authenticity of the mission and its experiments. To make this mission possible, we need to raise a minimum of 7,000 euros. But we have big plans and the more we raise, the more we can do. Your contributions, whether financial, social or in the form of direct participation, are essential to keep us going in the search for answers to our most compelling questions. In plain English, we need you to be part of this endeavor. And I am a space explorer. 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 And I am a space explorer.